Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you figure out what to do with this ice cream cone. Actually, a circle with two tangents that intersect on the outside of the circle. So, uh, question is asking, what's the measure of this arc right here? So from this point of tangency to this point of tangency, and um, it gives us some information. We have these two tangent lines that touch the circle at one point here and one point here. And we know that their angle intersects on the outside of the circle, which is 46 degrees. Uh, so uh, we're going to uh, look at this and try to figure this out. Uh, so if you guys remember when angles intersect or when lines intersect on the outside, you take the far arc, the arc that's furthest away from that angle and subtract it from this arc, uh, from the near arc and divide it by two and set it equal to this 46. But we don't have any information about this angle right here, but we can figure that out. Uh, so. I mean, let's just say, for example, if this arc was, say, one degree, okay, how would we figure out this arc right here? Well, we know the entire circle is 360 degrees, and obviously this isn't one degree because it's way more than one degree. But uh, to figure out what this arc is, we just subtract 360 from one degree and we get 359. So we take this arc and subtract it from 360 to get this arc. So uh, this is what we know about this arc. It is whatever this arc is uh, subtracted from 360. So uh, there you have it. So this arc and this arc both make up 360. So there's our information about both of those arcs. So now let's just set it up. Uh, so we take the far arc, which is question mark, and we subtract it from this arc, which is just the difference of 360 and this arc. So we'll subtract and I'll put a parentheses, 360 minus a question mark over two because that's the formula and uh, which equals 46 degrees uh, so before we start solving uh, let's let's see if we can uh, simplify this side right here uh, I'm gonna take this negative and distribute it to everything inside of the parentheses uh, so this one be negative 360 and two negatives make a positive, so plus question mark. We'll bring down this question mark over two, which equals 46. And let's see if we can combine like terms. We have question mark plus question mark, which is two question marks minus 360 divided by two equals 46. And let's put that invisible one under right there. And let's cross multiply. So one times all of this is all of this, which is uh, two times question mark minus 360 is equal to two times 46, which is 92. Uh, and let's get this 360 to the other side. Uh, Opposite of subtraction is addition, so we'll add 360 and add 360. And let's get our calculator. <clears throat> and let's add 92 plus 360, which is 452. So we have 2 times question mark is equal to 452. And this is 2 times. Opposite of multiplication is division. So the question mark is what's half of 200 and or 452, which is 226 degrees. So there it is. That's how you figure out uh, this, the measure of this arc. Um, so again, let's just go back. I think the toughest part was figuring out what this arc was. Just remember, it, this arc is whatever is left over from this arc when you subtract it from 360 degrees. So uh, again, if this was 
uh, if this arc, so yeah, this arc is 226 degrees. And if you want to know what this arc is, we just take that 360, we'll plug that in, minus 226. So we know that this arc is 134 degrees, and both of these arcs add up to 360. So just take this arc and subtract it from 360 to get information about this arc, and then just plug it into that formula. The far arc minus the near arc divided by 2 equals that the measure of the angle on the outside. So there you go. I uh, hope this helps, and that's what you do with an ice cream cone. I'm Mr. Q. Have a great day.